<laughs> okay, welcome to episode three of the constantly giving unit. Let's see if we can find more jewelry or what we can find. After going through the box the last time, we found this in that box. After we separate all the personal things, the micro cassette recorder, which these do sell on eBay. And that's something. And you've got instruction on how to use it. So we'll test that out and see if it works. A cute little bag, isn't it, Pat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's a little microphone for that. I don't see, I see the cases. I don't see any tapes. And there's earphone for it. So that, I thought that was a pretty good find. But, not good enough. How about underwear? You want underwear? No. Oh, good, because it don't feel like it's underwear in it. It says, Gimp stuff. What does the Gimp mean? I don't remember. Oh, it looks like a neck brace. Yeah, all bracing, which is pretty much outdated and no good. You remember that song, Red Solo Cops? We like Red Solo Cops. But do we like Red Solo Cops that much, Beth? Look at the Red Solo Cup. They're plastic. I guess they were having a heck of a party. Those are all candle holders. There's a lot of candle holders. What's it say? It says shoe boots. Well, that's my uncle's shoes and boots back. Now, you've looked at this for three episodes. Let's see what's in it back. Oh, wow. It's actually heavy. It's a traveler's club suitcase. Which is getting that time of year where people are going to need their suitcases because they're going to be traveling. We don't quit traveling, do we? It's even got a shoe bag in it. We can find a sword unit, you know, we go find them. Well, I like to find them. Oh, that's why it's so heavy. That's a complete set of them, so maybe somebody needs a complete set of luggage. And it's on wheels. And it's got a pull handle. We got a rug for on a back and pick up the pattern. It's pretty pattern. Serious Saudi Arabia. Uh oh. I haven't said your name in a couple of videos, but you may like this one, Patty. Where well, my Patty, this might be your box. Knitting Patterns Miniatures. Uh-oh, what do we got? Well, we got Patterns. We got a vase. I don't see nothing knitting yet. Do you, Beck? Uh oh, snow globes. I am being very careful. No, it is a snow globe. It's a candle. And I don't think it's ever been out of the styrofoam. It has not. Look at the beautiful flowers. I don't recall the name of the flowers, so hold it against me. Here's your knitting bag, Mama Patty. No, I'm not going to pull it all out. There's your knitting bag. And it looks like it needs repaired, so. 8 by 10 picture frame, and it's brand new. There's your knitting books. Knitting books, all knitting books. Magazines, not books. And there's more knitting patterns. So. Once again, the box is right. That looks like a bunch of paint, 
white paper down there. Oh, oh, look at that. Well, maybe the news will lose their place at Christmas time back. Look at that. Beautiful detail. All right, we'll look into that when we get home. Uh, some of the magazines, I don't know if we'll keep or not because they do have personal addresses on them. I don't like getting personal information out. Well, we got shelves. We got walkers. This one says pictures, so it's probably personal. I'll open that off camera if there's anything in it. We'll show you it. Mama, it's summer coming. I want some drumsticks. Let's see what the drum six is holding. Oh, a treetop angel. It looks like it's handmade. And more Christmas decor. Which, knock on wood, baby's first Christmas. 1983. Well, unfortunately, I was already almost out of high school then. Weren't we back? Yep. But we've gotten lucky. We haven't had too much Christmas stuff in this unit. That's usually what you get the most of. This one's more glass kitchen. And looks to me that's what it is. That looks like a powder thing. No, that's a scale. Wow, that's an old scale. Seafood set. There's my shot glass. I'm missing one though. So that's what that is. Kitchen. There's the old nut crusher. How many times you crank one of those back? Many a times. Guess what, back? We got another one of my favorite things. What's that say? Angel Steins. More Steins. I'm still in a search for that Schweinfurt Germany Stein. That's where I was stationed at in Germany. And whenever I came back, my signs didn't come back. So now I've been hunting ever since 1991 for my sign. Aww. How cute. I haven't seen nothing that simulates a sign yet, Back. We got a... I'm sorry, I'm in the dark now. Looks like Avon, I can't tell. It's a music box. That's a music box. And these will probably go on top of it. Let's see if I can get one of them out. Why are those cute babies? Looks like it spins in circles. I'm sorry, we just... We're blocking a lot of people in, so we're having to hurry up ourselves. But I want you to see it in the unit. I believe we had some of these already, didn't we? Or did I already show you that? Okay. Oh, that's right. We're looking for the stein. Now, that sounds like there's a jingle in this stein, Beck. Was doubting for something. Look at the detail. I wish we had more light. Niagara Falls, Canada. Thank you. Thank you. What do we got here? Panthers. Pit Panthers.
Scotch country, Pennsylvania. No, we haven't found the bigger signs yet. We're getting there, though. Pro Football Hall of Fame, Canton, Ohio. And Steeler one. Now, I'll go through these more at home. And if I get time before I release the video, I will add more on. But right now, I got to get moving. Oh, I didn't finish this. Okay. Still don't know what it is, but I don't know. That might be part of the jewelry box back. We'll have to check it out when we get home. Look at that pretty. That's pretty. Made in Italy. Italy. There must be steak knives in now. What brand are they? Chase Brittle. Steel Smiths. Bunch of maps is something people won't know how to what to do with anymore is maps. Oh, there's a pair of those back. Oh, that is pretty nice. Look at the detail. Yeah, they're sharp. I felt something on my hands when I flipped them. And more. Oh, another candy jar. This is something I've always I've been wanting to see if it's in there. A projector scope. Y'all remember these back in the days? And that, it's not only in there, it's brand new. Wow. What do you got there, Beck? A handicap? Rail? It looks like a bathtub rail. Once again, it's brand new. Yep, tub, tub bars. Okay, we're going to start emptying the unit out a little bit. And if we find anything interesting in here, we will film it. But we are on a time crunch. They close here in a couple hours, so probably a little over an hour. So we'll bring it on the episode as we find it. All right, well, we're sorry, but the sound didn't come out at the unit. We're home now, a couple days later. And I don't recall what all we showed. So I'm going to show it again. We got the little miniatures here. And I know while we were at the unit, I wasn't going through everything. So let me set these up and we'll show you what we have. Now look at these beautiful, beautiful little figurines that we found in the unit. And that little box. And there you go. You got the world's smallest stein. Little barrel cup. Look at all this. I mean, they're beautiful. And we're hoping somebody will make good use of them. Some of them are salt and pepper shakers. And others are just little trinkets. Let's see what else we find. Okay, now, what I thought was a rug from Saudi Arabia is actually material. I believe that was the first episode back. I thought that was a rug. It's actually material. Look at that. It is vintage. That's pretty unique. And there was a was an actual rug right here, which is a designer rug. And I, I actually like the pattern. We didn't pull it out of the plastic yet, so I don't know what it looks like. The facility didn't take the personal things back, so I had to sort through them, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, we got a comic book, The Punisher, from 1995. Yep. And Hellstorm. And what is that? Death Head? I'm sorry, I'm reading upside down. And look at that picture of Forest Field here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. From 1909 to 1970. That's where the Pirates used to play. And I believe the Steelers, well, it wasn't the Steelers then. But the football team played. Alright, this is flowering baskets, etc. Chair, teapot, nestling dolls. Uh oh and we didn't open it. 
Okay, so let's see what's in the box. I hope it's something good. But then it says nestling dolls. Somebody might kidnap them for her. For her dollhouse humpback. Let's mm -hmm. see. There's a nesting dolls. Nesting dolls. And they're all there. I'm not going to take them all apart. Sometimes those will as well go on eBay. Wooden candle holders. I don't know if they're handmade or not. Well, all this wrapping paper. It's always good for shipping as well. And you can see everything was taken care of. Look at that beautiful water pitcher. See if we got a brand on there back. H H. Anybody know that brand? Please leave in the comments. Let me know. Hard Rock Cafe shot glass. Did I say Hard Rock Cafe shot glass? Mm -hmm. And while we're at it, we might as well do Niagara Falls in Canada shot glass. You see a good shot glass collector, but not so much anymore. Oh, look at that beautiful. I can't remember what they called that design. Once again, I'd like to have it in the comments because I want to learn as much as I can. That is beautiful. Oh, here's a flower basket that goes with that. This has got all kind of goodies. There's more candle holders. I can't see it's got a symbol on it, but I cannot read a company there. Oh, beautiful, ornate. Look at that, that is beautiful. Floral light, never heard of it. Maybe it's an older brand from Japan. I like this vintage little flower basket to go with that. Oh, look how beautiful that picture frame is. Beautiful matching flower base. It sounds like salt and pepper shaker. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Karen's candle holders. Candles and holders. I think we may have gone through this. Song. No, we didn't. That's beautiful stained glass. Etched glass. And one of my favorite things I used to like is party light. And once again, back, we have a collection of party light again. This is the original party light here. Mm, smells good too. We got the candle bulbs. Look like smoke bombs. And more of the original party light. Now, this one says books. It feels like books are going to fall out. So I'm going to say it's books back. And we're going to get back to the Steins before the end of this episode. Ooh. Got some antique books. Now, some of these may be worth something. Look at that book. Wow. Is that a Bible? No, it's Alice in Wonderland. Oh. Now, it's in poor shape. And I don't see where it says which print it is. Is it saving there? Okay, I'll check it out, see what print that is, because there's a black book, <laughs> which I did find a lot of coin books in here. Simplify Concrete, my son would like that one. And there's several other books here. Look at these old books. Uncle Sam Fighter. But we'll have to definitely go through these because 
Now I'll show the camera here. They are vintage books. Every one of them. Uh, the paperwork we found showed the lady passed on in 2010. So we're not sure what was being kept in the unit, her belongings or her siblings, her kin's belongings. This one says knife blocks, knife block, and cooking utensils. And you know, I'm at home, but even at home, I don't carry my knife with me. Unfortunately, I'm on the trailer, so that's not high enough since I'm higher than she is to get everything. Uh oh. There you go, Chrissy. More Tupperware. Look at all the old fashioned Tupperware. What is that? A baster? <laughs> wow, is it actually in there? It is. And it's glass. The baster ball is in there. Wow. You don't find the glasses too often, do we, Beth? Nope. And look at that. Nice set. Stainless steel. That says Japan, but I don't know what brand they are. Beautiful, nice set, though. But there's other kitchen utensils in there as well. There's the old gravy. Gravy maker. Soup terrine. I don't know what soup terrine is, but we're gonna find out. Oh no, <laughs> I don't remember seeing that. Look how beautiful. Now that it's covered with plastic, it's not smoke. Here, here, you get a better look right there of it. Look how beautiful design. Can we see a maker on it? M and Z Austria. Wow. <laughs> So much processing to do on this unit. With that being said, viewers, I, I have a feeling this will be one of the last units for a while. It's going to take me at least a month to process this unit. But old dishes. See what kind of old dishes we got there, Beck. <laughs> Look how well packed they are. Oh, they match. They don't have a name on those. Dresden. Oh. Oh. Beautiful brand. Oh my goodness. I just. <laughs> Ten strawberries. There's another nutcrush. <laughs> wow. Is that an old one? What year is this? What brand is that? It doesn't say. That's an oldie one now. Wow. The old Tupperware pitcher. A little bit off brown, but beautiful. As you see, there's so much more to go through here. Some of you have already seen. Some of you haven't. I'm trying to find the stuff you haven't. But things like... Books and magazines. I'm not going to sit here and open up right now. That'll come at a later time. This one says everyday dishes. So this must be flea market stuff right back. Not particularly though. If I look at the stuff that she had. <laughs> what they called everyday back then. Is people's treasure today. And look how well wrapped. And there it is. There's a vision. Trying to read, but I can't tell. But I'm going to tell you that those are everyday dishes. I'm going to want to see what they had for paper plates. Look at those. Beautiful. Ooh, my. Well, as I promised, you're going to see the Steins today on this episode. Let's whistle our way into it. Look at that old flute. What is a flute of them? Made in Taiwan. Beautiful. But let's see the signs. You all know I like the sealers. There's 74 seasons. 
175 season with schedule one. Or 78 season. All the winning seasons. And here's 79 season. With the schedule on it. And then. You can't have the big signs. And not the little ones. Now that one looks like it was cracked before. That's a Lewis Brothers Ceramics from New Jersey. And then we got the McDonald's Super Bowl 14 glasses, two of them. I can't remember. I think there were six of the set. What is that? You can Albright College? There is no German signs yet. Niagara Falls. And look at these cute little things. I can't remember if I showed you those earlier or not. But aren't they cute? And look at that. You can see to get the moon. Then we've got another Pittsburgh Steelers. Pitt Panthers. <laughs> what do we got here back? Hawaii. The Olani Palace. Now, I don't know even if any of these places are still around or what's up. I think we showed you that one. Beautiful style. Now, look at this one. What's that say back? Titusville? Titusville, PA. With a full can of nothing better than the Iron City Hall of Fame or beer. Look at that full can. I don't think I drink it, but... We got a Hall of Fame game with 79. Look at all the signatures on it. X signs. The Dutch country of Pennsylvania. Well, you can see they're very old. Look at this old World War II Jeep. <laughs> is that a pencil trouble? No, I don't know what it is, but it's cute. Conky would like that. Yeah, you would, Conky. That's Britain's Limited made in New England. Beautiful. Here's your biggest cup of coffee you're allowed to have back. <laughs> and look at that. There's them beautiful flowers again. Trinket holder. And guess what, back? Well, it's got a music box. I don't know if it plays or not. We'll have to see that. But that's not all the signs back. You thought we were done with signs, didn't you? Maybe these ones they didn't get to open yet. They didn't have priority mailbox back then, so. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm not going to dig all them out. Harley Davidson. Silver Ghost, 1906. Oh, look at this. Drag dolls. Uni or Merry Go Round. My dad's the best. I bought one and a couple of those for dad. That was from 1976. Wow, beautiful. We're not going to empty this. This isn't Stein's, though. There's a bobber for you, Tim. Maybe you can get it to work. The rough page Bible. Beautiful. There's two of those. Okay, this one's listed. Copper musicals, knickknacks, fragile. But you know what? It's a secret. So don't tell anybody. Let's see what we got. Mother's Day sign. Bag bone, antiseptic. Remember that stuff? But something was in it. What we'll the look at that? I think that's gold painted. Let's 
Why not be gold though? Here's an empty tin. Oh, oh my goodness, I love what I'm seeing. Love it so much, I'm going to rip that up. Look at that beautiful copper train. Take a whole look around it. The mountains. Maybe we'll find something good with that back. Whoa, is that fetting? Hey, Chrissy, tell me if that's fetting. I'll have to look at it, see if I can find something on there. Oh, you like that copper. Look at the cruise ship to go with it. Oh, my goodness. It's something we like to find in units. Our treasure chest back. Look at the design of that treasure chest. I mean, it is beautiful. But is there treasures in it? Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. The old wooden Harley. Look at that. How beautiful. And you think, how many people today? Well, then you're gonna have to need repairs. There, you got a missing tire. How many people? The old generation would have the patience to sit there and do this stuff. The detail that they had to do. Beautiful. That's what we do treasure hunting for back. So we can go back into 1620. There's your Ferris wheel back. I heard you like Ferris wheel. And look at that. That's from back in the days when they didn't have the safety bars. They had bars there, but no no belts. The merry go around. How cute. And they do. They play music. So like more copper back. And it's another music player. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's take ourselves home, go to the wishing well, make a dream that we can always have excitement, we can have love. God bless you. Have a great day. See you next time here on Vanity Treasure Hunters.